With the recent revelations that Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro are a couple of greedy corporations that would sell their entire fan bases for a nickel, a lot of the 5e faithful are asking themselves, should I leave the dragon game? And some of these 5e apostates are reading the term rules light system all around the interwebs. Which then begs the question, if you're one of these heretics, should you make the switch? But before we get to that, this video is sponsored by my mom. But first, just in case you've never heard the term before, here's what I mean by a rules light system. These are tabletop role playing games that's what D&D is, that focus more on storytelling and player creativity than a strict adherence to a set of complex rules. A really popular example that I haven't played yet is OSE, aka Old School Essentials. This is a retro clone of the original Dungeons and Dragons released in 1974, and it aims to recreate the flexibility and creativity that that first edition brought while getting rid of some of the weird page layouts and all the page turning you had to do. Dungeon World, which is one of my favorite tabletop role-playing games, is another rules light system that leans a lot more into the collaborative storytelling sides of RPGs than necessarily the rules side. It's one of the more well-known Powered by the Apocalypse games, but that is a whole nother video. And one final example, though keep in mind there are literally thousands of rules light RPGs out there, is this game called Morkport. This is a comically grimdark RPG where the whole goal is to stay alive despite the near apocalyptic world's attempts to kill you. And I say near apocalyptic because the apocalypse is going to happen. It's written in the rulebook. It's your job as a player to try and make it to that apocalypse. Anyway, let's move on to what you really care about. Should a 5e player make the switch to a rules light system? Now, if you've watched my other videos, this answer might shock you, but it depends. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Before you go and buy two to five of these systems for the price of one D&D book, you need to ask yourself a couple of questions. Are you looking for a change of pace? We all know WotC sucks, but if you really enjoy how 5e plays, you don't need to drop any more money on 5e products. Everything that's out right now either currently works or will work forever as long as you have the hard copy or a PDF on your computer. This isn't like World of Warcraft where they can just shut the servers down and you can't play anymore. But if you're like me and you got super burned out on 5e after running it for years, then a rules light system might be up your alley. It's a really great way to refresh RPGs for you. OSC, Dungeon World, and Morkborg all have vastly different playstyles to 5e and each other and these vastly different playstyles can really lift you out of an RPG rut. And you also need to ask yourself if you're like me, and you prefer quicker, more open-ended, and more improvisational play. This is my favorite aspect of Rules Light Systems because they're often way more flexible than 5e, and I find that they run a lot smoother too. You never really run into these speed bumps in your session where you have to like look up rules or whatever, you just keep the game going. And a lot of these systems are written to encourage the players to come up with really cool creative solutions to problems rather than just run in and just do four rounds of really shitty combat where you close into melee range and then just beat the piss out of the monster and not move at all because you don't want to take an attack of opportunity. Lastly, you need to ask yourself if you or anyone in your group are new to RPGs because rules light systems can be a great entry point for new gamers or anyone who really doesn't want to deal with a bunch of complex rules. Since there are fewer rules, you can spend a lot more time doing all the fun stuff of RPGs rather than flipping through a 650 page rule book trying to find the exact rule that outlines what you're trying to do. Sorry, Pathfinder. <laughs> now those questions are all very important to ask yourself, but it is also important to remember that crunchier systems and even fifth edition have their appeals as well. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. To piggyback off my previous point, some people really enjoy more complicated rule systems. Not only do they enjoy the challenge of learning the rules, but also optimizing their characters and their playstyle within those rules. For example, my buddy Sean is a min-maxer through and through. He gets the most fun out of RPGs by studying the rules and figuring out the best character builds so that his characters are the most effective in any given party. And while min-maxing isn't really for me, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the style of play. However, if you do enjoy this style of play, then a rules light system might not actually be for you as there's fewer rules to min-max around. Unless you're Sean, who broke Dungeon World and figured out how to two-shot a dragon. Now, if you're considering the switch, you also need to ask yourself if you value 
balance and fairness in your role-playing games. Because rules light systems can be a lot more prone to imbalances and inconsistencies than fifth edition. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that rules light systems rely far more on the GM's judgment and interpretation of what few rules are there rather than a tome outlining every single situation and the appropriate response. For it. And I'm aware that this whole ruling not rules philosophy is sort of present in fifth edition, but fortunately it's so fucking popular that if you ever run into a problem, you can just Google it and someone somewhere will have developed a solution for it. Anyway, this kind of brings us to point number three, which is that rules light systems require a lot more trust in both your GM and your fellow players than 5th edition does. And the reason for this is that not only do you have to trust your GM to be fair with the rulings and not completely fuck you over, but you also have to put a lot of trust in your fellow players because a lot of rules light systems require a lot more role playing. And if you've never role played before, it can be really fucking uncomfortable, especially if you're doing it in front of people that you don't know super well, you don't know what the vibe is going to be. It can be a terrible time. It can be a terrible time in, t in front of your friends. It's a scary thing to do. You're basically acting. So if you're not totally comfortable with that, or you're not totally comfortable doing that in front of your friends or people that you may not know, but have a shared interest, then a rules light system might not be for you. Now, with all that said, even if you decide, nah, 5e till I die, never switching, you should at least read the rule books for other systems when you get the chance. Uncle Iroh said it the best. It is important to draw wisdom from many different places. If we take it from only one place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. Of course, if you can't read, or you just really like me, then you should totally click right here to learn three rules from Dungeon World that you can adapt for your own 5e game. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb.